Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022. And today I'm gonna to be talking about persistent breathing problems after COVID. We all know that the ability to breathe is one of the most basic but critical life functions. Most of the time we never think about our breathing, but for some people who are recovering from COVID, breathing is not something they take for granted. Now, most people who have persistent uh, pulmonary issues post-COVID are people who experienced the original COVID strain in 2020 or the Delta variant strain in 2021 because these variants infected the lungs and caused the lungs to become inflamed, scarred, or even filled with fluid when pneumonia occurred. So most people who had COVID pneumonia who required hospitalization or being on a ventilator are followed long-term by a lung specialist called a pulmonologist. And people who have pre-existing conditions such as asthma or emphysema, recovery from COVID may take longer. You know, some people need home oxygen support, breathing treatments for some time, and some people have needed lung transplants, but this is very rare. But I'm going to switch and talk about the most common breathing issues in what's called long COVID or post COVID or long haulers. The most common uh, symptoms are shortness of breath, chronic cough, and chest discomfort. Now shortness of breath involves getting winded easily, particularly with any type of activity or exercise. That can linger for a couple of months, sometimes longer, up to a year. The chronic cough, again, many people have chronic cough, again, related to activity, sometimes at night when they're trying to sleep. This chronic cough really persists past 12 months. And chest discomfort is common also, and usually resolves in a couple of months. The bottom line I want to emphasize is that for most people, complete recovery from lung, lung damage after COVID is likely, but it will take time. Experts can say it can take months for a person's lung function to return to pre-COVID-19 levels. So folks, my important message I want to drive home is that if you're experiencing these symptoms, it's not in your head. Please be under the care of a doctor, or if you need a specialist called a pulmonologist, ask your general uh, practitioner to refer you. Medication sometimes and respiratory therapy may help and certainly does time. So folks, anyone, if you've had COVID and after a couple months after your infection, you don't feel like your pre-COVID self, any symptom that interferes with your daily quality of life is worth a call to your doctor. That's my message. My views are my own. Stay safe.